Hey everyone, this is Manshark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, and this is Stellaris. <sighs> we are the Panuri Collective. To our northwest, the Hafgrim Mercantile Guild, so that's the northeast, sorry. To our northwest, the remnants of the United Makaru Union, and also the Frubalov Progenitors. And all throughout the galaxy, little dots are going to appear. Little dots like this one, and this one, and this one, and I think this one, and there's probably a few more around the place. Yeah, this one, definite, definitely that one. That one there too, probably that one. Probably not that one, I don't know. Because some idiots over here in the Orzcox Citizen Alliance, the, where are they? Egalitarian fanatic xenophiles, like, oh, I wonder what would happen if we opened up the sealed gateway that we just happened to find in our realm. President Wings of Ivory. So there's a nanobot swarm loose on the galaxy, uh, it's not going to be pretty. You're going to see those holes open up a lot more. I am deploying our forces to defend us our areas. We're probably going to lose this section, the, um, what is this, the Quarex sector. But while that is a high possibility, I will attempt to defend it a little bit. But my main focus is on deploying here and getting these star bases up to spec. Because there's also, I think this one here at the Demon's Moor is probably going to be the main issue, but there are two points of entry here at Heaven's Gate and the Eye of Hawking. Very concerning. Our ships have been improved. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, and we're in a big improvement spree. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Cool. No, I don't care. Maybe the lifespan isn't going to help us. None of these are really going to help us too much. They do not invade planets. They just bombard them into, like, they Armageddon bombard them. That's it. Um, I guess we might as well get the confluence of fort while we're at it. So I'm trying to Our evacuate the citizens. Um, as we go. Our ships have been improved. We're going to get a lot of those because I upgraded a shipyard a little while ago. Okay, this is still going to be a shipyard. They've stopped their construction. So crew gestation, naval logistics. I want battle simulators there, if we can. Yep, battle simulators. Um, I actually want a second shipyard. And we'll put in a... I don't have a solar panel array, sorry. Um, another anchorage. Another two anchorages, yeah. So three shipyards will be able to really construct hard. Anybody else finished and need, like, more command orders? While we're thinking about it, though... I uh, know, because this takes precedence over building defense platforms. Alright, so in this sector, we've got just under 100k. Um, that will increase very shortly. We worked out that we could now, we have the capacity for a third Titan. We are making it. It is happening. Also, we're building some ion cannons and more defenses over here. You know, just the usual business. System survey complete. Oh, tier has been fully surveyed. That's up here. Well, good. That looks completely fucking pointless. Get out. Come back down here to Xianthar, I guess. Oh, this one isn't actually doing a bad job. We'll put him at Levisio. Yeah, he seems to be. A, it's a tomb world, but whatever. So, him. In here at. That one. Yeah, they're producing a lot of, uh... Quite a large amount of, um... What do you call it? Uh, 
Fucking science. <laughs> Words. Oh, and also the, um... Okay, the Fallen Empires will also be totally fine against the Nanobot Swarms. Uh, Shea of the Void has a message for you. If you so desire, you may now hire some of our fleets as mercenaries. Our crew are disciplined and will obey your instructions as long as you can meet our prices. This is an incredible gift that she has bestowed upon you. Do not squander it. I'd like to hire some mercenaries. There are several cults. Among our warriors, we feel that killing unbelievers, even at the best of unbelievers, underlines of her will. They will not sh even shrink away from killing other Husko, since his radical save room but themselves as heretics. Not to worry though, they are not foolish enough to attack their employer. Incidentally, I too am safe from their wrath, since I bring them work in exchange for a modest cut of their profits. These are the fleets currently available for hire. For 4,000, you can get two cruisers, four frigates, and eight raiders. For 6,500, four cruisers, six frigates, 12 raiders. For 9,000, six cruisers, eight frigates, 16 raiders. I don't know exactly what a frigate and raider are in terms of power. But hey, that's good to know. We hire them for five years. Okay, well, good to know we can do it. What are we currently voting on, you idiots? Minor research sanctions. God damn. Yeah, there's the Tempest Shoal again. Yeah, so see, they've moved up there. They moved in here. They will destroy it. There's no way around it. Bam, there it goes. The... What do you call it? Yeah, so the Crim Stellar League has a total fleet of 10,000. And they're up here. I'm not even sure if they can get through to here. So... Kinda tough shit for them, huh? Okay, I do have one spare... Okay, if I put down a space station here... We might be able to research another one that we can put down at Seolia. I will not be moving one at Haneri because it's being built. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Okay, Confluence of Ford is in. Admin cap, a bit ability. Yeah, none of those are really going to help out right now. Let's just do that one because it's quick. But yeah, it's just like... Oh yeah, so see, they're being slowed down by this planet. They will just bomb it. And you can see here what Armageddon Bombardment actually means. Massive damage to armies, planet, and pops. They'll bombard undefended planets, and they will destroy the planet and reduce it to what's called a tomb world. Anyway, we can get our last uh, tradition. Uh, so it's plus five stability, which also helps us out with Empire Sprawl. Very nice. And unlocks our final ascension perk. None of these are gettable ever for us. So we can do Voidborn, I don't want it. Shared Destiny, more Envoys. Yeah, no, that's not for us. Transcendent Learning, no thank you. Executive Vigor gives us two more Edicts. That's kind of nice, but I don't really think it's that important. Pure Prerogative increases our Admin Cap. Mastery of Nature lets us increase the number of districts on a planet. One vision, more unity, less amenities usage, more governing ethics attraction. We don't care about ethics. Um, galactic contender. This could be useful right now. So this, while it would give us plus 20% diplomatic weight, again, cool. Against fallen empires, awakened fallen empires, and the gate builders, who we are currently looking at, uh, we would do an extra third damage. Eternal Vigilance, it gives us more defense platforms and makes our star bases better. Grasp of Void, more star bases. Interstellar Dominion, uh, influence costs down for claims and star bases. Defender of the Galaxy, that is nice against endgame crisis factions. This isn't an endgame crisis. Galactic Force Projection, plus 80 naval capacity, plus 20 fleet command limit. Basically, that would get us another fleet, uh, kind of. That's not bad. Nihilistic Acquisition, never need that. 
and enigmatic engineering we do not need. So the choice is galactic force projection, grasp of void, eternal vigilance, or galactic contender. Galactic contender would really be something that helps us out in the short to medium term. And once all of the fallen empires, awakened empires, and the nanite bots are dealt with, it wouldn't help us any more beyond that. I mean, diplomatic weight plus 20% is okay, but we're not really playing a diplomatic game. Eternal Vigilance would basically make all of our star bases 25% better. So if you see over here, like some of our best stations, 62, 47, so it would pump it up by another 10k, you know, that sort of thing. And of course, Grasp of Void would give us more star bases, but we can get those anyway from tech. And of course, Galactic Force Projection, we could get through tech again. Um, so I think Eternal Vigilance? Yeah, Eternal Vigilance. You can see that's up to 72,000. It's not, not bad, not bad at all. They haven't left here, or if they have, they're struggling with something. One second, I just want to... Oh yeah, because not only do they need to destroy the star base, but they have to depopulate the world first. Which they will do! Unless they can be chased off, they absolutely will do it. Um, nothing for it, really. How are we doing here? Are you queued up? Oh, you can get more. Right, of course you can because we just worked that out. Uh, what do we got? We've got five of each, I think, except for Lintel, which only has four. Let's get another Lintel. And then... One, two, three, four. One, two... Okay, that'll do. And probably be the same story over here, but they're still building shit. Uh, do we want to extend this? Sure. Do we want to extend this? Yes, actually, because we'll be able to use Unity in the future for these lads down here. Which will definitely be nice when we take desperate measures or something. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Cool. Starbase capacity up, definitely. I didn't even look at what the other options were. I was just looking for starbase capacity. Oh, is this actually... Is this one? No, it's a starport, not a... We can actually build defensive platforms on this one already. That's kind of cool. We'll do that, actually. So they get 12, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. It could help. Does that actually count for all of it? Oh my god. I don't know how many I just built. Okay, good. And then over to this one. I think this one's upgrading. Yeah, it is. Um... very expensive. I would very much like a bit more influence so that we can do our little trading thing. Because it's expensive as hell right now. Look at that. That's a huge price for this stuff. I'll just sell 10,000 of it right now. God, I can't believe these little fuckers unleashed for damned swarm. Construction complete. Sujiana and Barababa, lovely. So that's Barababa here. Ah, very nice. Missiles. Probably the target uplink, and then the upgrade. And Sujiana, same thing. Whoops, no, same thing, sorry. Missiles. 
Target uplink, upgrade. Thank you. What are you fools doing? Working on it? Working on it. Okay. At least it doesn't look like there's anything coming from this section. That's handy. But by god of a Crim Stellar League just fucked. Like... Construction complete. Ah, uh, it's the Black Hole Star Base. That one's... This one over here. It's... We will build the Anchorages, and we will build the Naval Logistics Office. But I don't think we're going to upgrade that again just yet. Because it costs alloys, and alloys are at a bit of a premium right now. Fucking hell. Yeah, we can't afford to relocate those guys out if we want to burn the relic. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Good. Um, shields. Shields help everybody. Where's that Titan? Still coming. 1,000 days. Alright. Fortunately, it should be a fairly slow onslaught. Wait, relatively speaking. Last time I did this, like, I triggered this <laughs> bullshit to happen. Uh, let's see. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think... Well, AS is probably the best place to make the sector. Assign a leader, recruit one. What do we got? Admin cap, admin cap, crime down. Admin cap. I don't think they're really doing admin cap jobs, but whatever. Ah, oh, good. Can't really build anything here just yet. Did I just actually build two of them? I did, lovely. Get a disruption field generator and an upgrade. Out of interest, can I see any of their fleets? I can. We can get no intelligence on them. However, we do know that they have a lot of shields, a lot of armor, and a lot of hull points. In fact, it's even. Dead even, armor and shields, so... Ah, <sighs> great. Um, can I ask the curator order about something? What is the void spawn? I don't actually know what the hell this thing is talking about. Eh, whatever, we just spent money on something. Um, also, one second. Curators, curators. Diplomacy. Could we recruit one of your scientists? We are willing to pledge suitable donation. What else do you have to offer? Can you tell us about your other customers? Ah, uh, it's just we get intel on them. Nah, fuck that. It's fine. Alright, quick look at species. I don't think they're all assimilating, assimilated yet. This one kind of looks like it is. That's... I... They've still got, like... That's a great template. Oh yeah, there's still, like, tons to do here. So I... Want to get rid of... Uh, I don't care about that stuff, that's fine. Get rid of habitability. Give them... Docile, of course. I guess robust. 
sure. Situation log updated. Get it sorted. Species tampered with. That was great. May the spirits forgive us. Okay, so that was the dis illustratum. This doesn't really look like I have modified them yet, so let's create a new template for these guys. We get rid of that. Um, I don't care about slow learners. The rest of this is fine. Um, we'll get rid of that. That's not necessary. We can be very strong. We can be docile. Might as well make them robust as well. Look, at the end of the day, I'm Situation helping you all out. Log updated. Generally, they're going to have to have um, docile for me to be like, oh yeah, I've modified them. <laughs> yeah, they're still being assimilated. Species tampered with. May the spirits forgive us. Um, this looks fine. I didn't do that one. So what we're going to do here, apply template to the other five. Situation log updated. Do it. This was 100%. Oh, they're still doing it. Yep, they're still getting transformed. As are they. Yep. Species tampered with. May the spirits forgive us. Oh, this one could definitely be modified. I do not need them to be conservationists. So let's give them... They're strong, so let's make them very strong instead. Docile, of course. And I guess... Fast breeders, that'll do. Apply. Situation Good. log updated. They're fine, they're still progressing, they're still assimilating. That's been done for a while, still working on it, still working on it. Obviously fine. Uh, still working on it. Still working on it. Still working on it very slowly, I might add. And everything else is kind of a still working on it. All right, cool. Species tampered with. May the spirits forgive us. Okay, let's get more hull points on our defense platforms. Yep, they're still bombing it. Still got armies. They don't care about the armies, though. They're here to just wipe them out. There must be a planet here, yeah. It's a rough job, lads. But it, it wasn't even my fault this time. Yeah, there must be one in there as well. That's really torn, torn out a hole. Oh cool, he's now got architectural interest, nice. Yeah, it's going to come down and hit this station soon, which it will destroy. I right, got environmental engineer. Well, that's cool. What I like about this is these guys came down and just stole this again. Like, it's not going to get taken instantly. They'll just send another fleet through, man. Like, this is how it happens. Okay, we've got to find the best way for us to get there. Because we're going to have to deal with this. The AI will not deal with it well. Trust me on that. So, the best way for us to get there is either through here, which sucks, up through here. Wait, where's the connection? There. Oh god, is Upstoff the only connection? 
Oh man, that's amazing. Okay, the next macro reward, we're taking them on here. I don't know if they do have planets up here, so they will live. But if we took them on here and we just fortified up stuff, like what's up stuff? Um, that's the one point of connection for all of this to this shit. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, that's the next war. Mark my words. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. So yeah, you'd either have to come up here or down here, either of which aren't that great. I think the best option for us is to come around through here to Heaven's Gate. Let's see, actually, the wormhole. It's not one in there. That's a gateway. I don't actually know where all the gateways are. They can use gateways and wormholes, by the way, so this does suck. Um, if somebody opened up that gateway, it would actually be very useful for us. And we could get through. Assuming we took a gateway somewhere else. But the issue is we don't actually have access to... We could build our own gateway, but that would be... Honestly, not a great idea at this point in time. Not only because everybody else would get access to what's there. Like, to it. But if they take a gateway system, it just makes it easier for them to spread. We really don't want that, do we? No. What idiotic thing are we voting on now? I think I already abstained from that one. I, I do support repealing the uh, administrative sanctions. So that's absolutely fine. Activating it. The uh, cost is fine. So it will reach 100% devastation and the pops will be like murdered. Um, it has to wipe every pop out. Armageddon Bombardment is amazingly inefficient. So planets do hold up the swarm for a fair amount of time. Um, But it's not like, you know, you still got to be able to deal with the swarm with a fleet. Construction complete. Good. Uh, that was Willaeus. I don't know where that is. Ah, good. We do need to actually assess it. Okay, and two hangar bays. And what can we put here? Defense grid supercomputer. Yep. And an upgrade to Citadel. This one's almost done as well. But this one doesn't really need a further upgrade. Um, it's fine just having what it has. <laughs> yeah, they've actually reoccupied the system. Mate, what a terrible idea, guys. What are you doing? So let me just check something. Ahab. Hang on. Ahab, thank you. Can you get there? Yeah, we have open borders all the way through. But see, look at this. They just popped another fleet out. So GG loses. No, you both you're both fair. Don't worry about it.
Construction complete. Um, yeah, see, they don't actually need to build anything there um, in that section, so this is fine as it is. It does not need an upgrade. We've got about 34 spare naval capacity. That isn't really going to be... Can you fucking orbit the space station? That's what I want you to do. Ahab as well. Ahab as well. <sighs> At least that'll uh, cut down on some of our costs. Okay, Yugazim 5 is up, and... Ah, this place actually converted as well. Very nice of you, lads. Means not one of those. Not one of those. Very cool. <sighs> Still assimilating. This place is finished assimilating, as is that one and that one, and not that one. Okay. If we were really ballsy, we could take all three of our fleets and charge them through the demons more. I think we'd have a decent chance of getting in there. Um, and once we're in there, we could see what the fuck is going on. The other thing is we actually if we take the L cluster, like if we take out the L cluster, we want to be the ones to occupy it. So we'd have to bring a construction ship with us. No, I think it's going to be a very slow advance. Construction complete. I mean, you never know. The um, AI might be able to hold a little bit. Um, it's kind of unlikely, but if they can, I have no confidence in them, by the way, like precisely, excuse me, zero confidence, but they are acting as a bit of a tar pit on them, which is good. If they tar pit them long enough that our defenses can get up and running, in, you know, tip-top condition. Then that would dramatically help us out in terms of when we'll eventually the push. The have granted us new wisdom. Lovely. Uh, naval capacity. If we can increase our naval capacity, we can get a fourth fleet. Um probably won't be able to get a fourth Titan, but we'll just fill it with battleships instead. But a fourth fleet will actually give us projection ability. Because right now we're defending one, two, three ingress points to our empire. And a fourth one just means, uh, well, we don't need to sit around and wait for these fuckos. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Better shields. Um, I think we're going to take energy weapon damage. We don't use a lot of energy weapons, I think, but, you know, what we do, we do. Going to have to hold on to our minerals for a little bit longer, though, because our Dyson Sphere is almost at the next stage. Yeah, it looks like they wiped the planet. There it is, Nanite World. This 
inhospitable. Unless you can terraform it. And that's how they'll get you. Okay, that's fine. That's still building that. Um, upgrade that one now that we're able to. Alderaan's sitting here in a nice little 6k with just its defensive stations. That's very nice. What actually happens if we go the over this? The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Very nice. Strike craft attack speed, sure. This is actually the point where doing automatic technology can help out. Um, because all we're doing is getting bonuses here. But I actually want to focus which bonuses we get. Uh, what do you idiots want? For six months of society research, they will give us 1,000 consumer goods. I don't use consumer goods. I mean, I have them for sale, but I don't use them. I wonder where the fleet went. It was down here. Yeah, in the last game I played when I unleashed the Nanite Swarm, I was able to hold them at bay. That that was it. I was only able to hold them at bay. The issue after that is that um, the entire rest of the galaxy was just black. Except for little pockets of uh, resistance. It's pretty bad. So they've taken down to here. They will destroy that. Like, it's, it's dead already. They just don't know it. Well, not yet complete. With the installation of advanced solar harvesters, we've begun to reap the benefits of a Dyson Sphere being built in the Polymar system. The energy gains will only continue to increase as construction continues, eventually reaching full operational capacity when the Sphere is complete. So here's the partial thing it makes us 1050 energy you can see there we now gain 1k energy a month we can upgrade it again and it will give us 21,000 we do this we no longer have energy problems so if I want to make another mega structure um, first of all, I need the goddamned influence for it. Um, we also need... God, I'm so interested to find out what half of this shit does. I think this one gives you more diplomatic weight and envoys. That one gives you... I don't know, is that... Amenities? Yeah. The strategic coordination center is also another one that I'm very interested in. But before that, probably the matter decompressor. Or the sentry array. The sentry array would actually be extremely useful right now. Because I'm sitting here being all like, what's going on? You can see that the other empires are taking advantage of things. Hang on a second. We found the Gurite Blessed Council. A theocratic republic of evangelizing zealots. Um... Okay, I don't know where you're from, but that's cool. We're almost at a point where we can afford one of these. I think we're going to do Will to Power, just because that will give us a lot more influence. Yeah, I think that's probably the best one for us when it comes around, which it should do in about two months. That's a pirate legion. This is the nanite swarm up here. They're currently bombarding the planet. As you do. Star Nation known as the Prakiki T has been destroyed by its enemies. 
I don't know who did that. It might have actually been Oscox. Fucking idiots. Opening up the damned gate. Ah, oh, man. Well, it just got exciting, you know. worlds around that we can terraform. Oh man, we've got to wait until these places get like fully assimilated. Construction complete. This one can get terraformed into it, right? Hive world. There we go. Good work, lads. You have been fully assimilated as well. Terraform hive world. You have three people left. You have no people left. But you cannot be terraformed. Probably because it's a tech world, relic world. Okay. Ah, Bora Baba and Swijania. Hangar bays. And a defense grid supercomputer. And another upgrade. Same with you. Hangar bays. Defense good supercomputer. Another upgrade. Where is it on my list? 15. 15. Okay. And this one here has 23. And is actually almost done being upgraded to a citadel. Nice. Um, I'm going to start dumping stuff down on it, I think. Actually, no, hang on. <sighs> we need to save allies. We need to save influence. The relic's ready to go. Allies are more important at this stage in time. I'll uh, sell 10 grand of that twice. And I'm just going to buy some alloys. For a huge expense, but it's fine. We make money. Okay. This one here has 38. It'll have more in a bit. Um, we should probably wait for it to finish upgrading so we know how many ion platforms to get it. Okay, they've moved up to here. So these guys are burning alloys and influence to recolonize the stuff behind the fleet, which is expected AI behavior, but God, it's stupid. Maybe that was just always like that. This seems like a more likely ingress point because it's a black hole. And I think I think L gates are primarily found around black holes. Mm -hmm. And by primarily, I mean like always. Wouldn't surprise me if there's one up there hitting the Gravidox combine as well. God, there are so many damn commerce guilds in this damn map. Dorbulon Enterprises, Hafka Mercantile Guilds, the Tebran Trading Coalition, the Jazgavers Trading Consortium. I think the Preaky Synergetics are also that, as are Preaky Interstellar. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Good. Give me that one then. How much were one of your fleets again, by the way? Nine grand for a good one. Okay, where did it just put them? Good, down here. They've got a power of seven and a half K. That is fucking pathetic. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. But there's a reason I hired them. Uh, first of all, we've got a galactic resolution, a charter of workers' rights. I'm in support of that, apparently. Why? <laughs> it doesn't affect me in any way, shape, or form. Naval capacity up. Okay, we're already at one shy of that. Let's...
I'll do starbase capacity again. I want to upgrade one at Alderaan to be a proper starbase as well. So we'll have a lion here. <laughs> okay. Chosen champions, you've got a job. It's not a good job. No root there. Oh, that's right. They've banned us from our systems. Can you get to this one? Yeah, you can. I want you to go through the L gate. Oh my god, it's got to be a science vessel to go through it. <sighs> okay, well, in that case, you guys can get to Alderaan and hold it for a bit. And let me make a science vessel. Real fast. Once we put a science vessel through it, though, we should be able to work out, like, everything about it. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Recruit. Um, look, you're probably going to die anyway, but I need you to get through the L gate. Good. Okay, he's sitting there. I think a better place for the array will actually be in construction complete. Eregia. Because the array doesn't take anything. Uh, that was Seolia? Which one is Seolia? This one here. Very nice. Guns. And disruption field. Oh, and upgrade yourself. So we are kind of playing on this fleet not moving for a bit. They're a bit distracted over here, bombing a place. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Oh boy. I mean, they've sent a science vessel. Is that science vessel going through the gate too? Yep, it did. Lovely. That will not give me any intel on it. Unless... Hey, buddy. Buddy. Um, trade deal? Information? Active sensor link? No? Okay. Communications, then? Yeah, not bad. What do I have to offer you for this? I don't know if I offer you commun- Yeah, they don't give a fuck. God damn it. How about favors? Eh? These mean nothing. Yeah, cool. Actually, how many alloys do you want to give us? I don't actually know how many you have. But give me as many as you can, basically. Can I hold this down? Nope. Cool. What if I shift click? Ah, uh, even better. I want to just get it to be one point in their favor. There we go. Does that help at all? It doesn't, does it? Pricks. Okay, we found these guys, they're evangelizing zealots. Ah, cool. I don't know where from. These guys, maybe? No, they were... That's a stagnant ascendancy. Hang on, this is a fallen empire. Construction complete. Well, I guess we found the uh, last fallen empire, guys. Sure did. 
fuck, we're over Starbase capacity, so Starbase upkeep has just jumped. But we are researching capacity plus one, so whatever. Yep, good. Two gun batteries. Communi not a communications jammer, a disruption field generator. And an upgrade. Very good. split their fleet up a lot? Looks like they did. Yeah, there's a lot of fleets in here. And they're all shitty little fleets too. Okay, we've got what's that? 53? Oh, another merchant guild. Lovely. Okay, so we've got a new fleet coming up. We're going to put it initially at Corinth. Initially. And it's going to consist of two of each battleship. What else? Six Pulnar cruisers, six errant. Well, I'm going to say six errant cruisers. Uh, so that's there and there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. Uh, what else? Ten destroyers, ten Hessendrock destroyers, and ten Daskal corvettes. Okay, I mean, they're not going to be able to fit a Titan in them anyway. So let's get another big artillery. And I guess, which one was our artillery? The Polnar was our artillery. Yeah, okay, that's good. So it's 138 ready to go. We will not construct it yet. We could make them all. Right, look at that, we could make them all. It would her you know what fuck it we've got tons of income do it oh and get yourselves a leader oh they don't actually have a fleet yet so we've got to wait for that so question are they all being made here probably not right there's probably some being made over here at gm far yep and eh, please don't tell me there's something made of the yep something made of the eye of Baal. that could take a while to get together um that's alright, we are researching, well, we will be researching additional naval capacity. Okay, fleet's coming in. These guys are still fucked. Come on. It's a desperate mission. Or is it like up or down? No, it's straight across. It's a flat, flat plane. Our ships have been improved. What? Oh, okay. Our ships have been improved. <sighs> We've encountered another abandoned gateway, this time near Demon's Moor. It appears to have been entirely by microscope nanites of an unknown design. Unlike the previous structure, this gateway... We've never found an L gate before, by the way. It's just, you know. Unlike this previous structure, this gateway has been significantly altered since its initial construction. Its connection to the rest of the network has been severed. Instead, the only valid destination is an uncharted group of stars just beyond our galaxy that has been designated the L Cluster by our astronomers. Although the gateway emits a faint power signature, it's been deliberately, deliberately locked into some kind of maintenance loop that prevents its activation. Do we find some way of... Blah, 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 blah. Situation log updated. Um, normally, we would get insights and, you know, be able to 
activate it. Unfortunately, the AI has beaten us to that. Our ships have been improved. And there's already... There we go. There we go. Here's Terminal Egress. It's the entrance to the Elgate Cluster. You enter here. There's one, two, three, four big ass fleets sitting in there. Our ships have been improved. So now we have um, that little science vessel we just got is now subspace evading. That is 100% fine. And I'm just going to send these guys for. See how we go. Oh, they came with a leader as well. Nice. This is the height of not giving a fuck. <laughs> also, once we get here and lock down Terminal Egress, you then, like, locking down Terminal Egress is great because it, um, you know, stops them coming into the rest of the galaxy. But then you've got to science out and find the rest of the damn, like, find where the actual HQ is. Oh, cool, he just reappeared over here. Um, I guess you should go and help research somewhere. Let's see, planets and sectors. Planets and sectors, thank you very much. I want to know about your science outputs. So, Quarak is 108. 305 and Cor that's the Chorus core sector, of course. Can I look at planets? I want to look at planets. Oh yeah, there we go. Construction complete. One second, pause that. So they've only got one world, which makes 38. Not great. Don't care. 51, 95 on one place, which is Darmok's. So Darmok's frontier has 80. Quarak has 50s. Koros has 108. Those are already being serviced. And this one, yeah, no, Darmok's Frontier it is, so you can come down to Darmok's Frontier, which is this one here, and assist. Thank you. <sighs> okay, Ralpican's Armada is forming, which means we can assign a leader to it. Um, that's not bad, unyielding. Yeah, so Scout lets him move a bit faster, but Unyielding lets him hit harder and be tougher. Makes it harder for them to disengage, but, you know, we weren't planning on disengaging, were we? Were we? Yes, it's going to be a while before that fleet actually forms up nicely. Which, you know, kind of annoying, but whatever. God, I still can't believe you've done this. Evading heretics. Well, that was that. Where was that? Okay, the Tempest Shoal rocked up here while we were trying to get out of there, so we're evading heretics down to here. <coughs> Hostiles, whatever. Hopefully he escapes. If he doesn't, it's kind of a whatever. Like shit sucks, you know. Okay, he has successfully escaped. I would like you to continue on your... Can't get here. Hmm. Now why is that? Because of the Makaru or because of... The spirits uh, have granted us new wisdom. <sighs> the pricks just closed their borders to us. Again. So, with that in mind... Um, where are you boys going? Yeah, you should... Oh, we can't even get in there. Wow. Alright, go and fight the fleet then. Fucking deal with it. Yeah, there's no way through for us, so I'm going to have them just come around here. 
see how that goes. Where is this fleet going? It is heading this way. Okay, you boys don't actually need to run. Sublight speed reduction. Head back over here. And I want you. Hmm, that's going to be a bit tricky. Head to this one. Yep, Dorbalon just opened the borders up again. So we can get all the way back home. Do it. Oh, I'm sorry, which way are you going? No, 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 you don't want to go that way. I want you to go this way. Yeah, like that. What the fuck are you doing, man? Like, come on. Okay. Here's the fight. It is not going to go well. Oh, hang on. It appears as though the animatic cache is now done with its scan of Quaric, is now seeking another target planet within our borders. A relief or a shame? Man, yeah, it's a relief. The spirits have there are only six ships in this in this um, fleet as well, by the way. Uh, naval capacity, definitely. And we didn't take a single one of them out. I believe they repair? They probably repair. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, yep. Get in there. The United Macro Union has closed their borders to us. Of course they have. The pricks. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Identity munitions, very nice. I would like better strike craft. Again. Ah. Oh yeah, they're currently evading around the place, that's totally fine. How you lads doing? You're almost done building stuff? I'm just gonna run the last checks and then we'll probably call that. Okay, you boys can actually build your ship now. Um, probably command center. Yeah, command center. And then you've got 42. So, um, I think they're eight each. Let's just do it like this. We ran out of money. That's fine. That's plenty for now. Let's sell thousand of those buy a thousand more damn it sell a thousand sell ten thousand actually buy buy a thousand not enough uh, what was the last one we bought mid gap yep two three four And then we ran out of money. Yep. No idea if that's enough. We'll just have to see. The fleet here is getting built up nicely. They'll reappear at some point. How are all these guys going? Okay, good, 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 good. I'm actually quite happy that these guys are wasting their time and money rebuilding because that helps us out a fair amount yep. um, Perdex Freehold I've got a severe drought do they want to fend for themselves or do we get okay, minus 20 happiness happiness doesn't affect us or minus 600 energy like 600 energy is fine I guess a quick look at this actually it's easier to look through the population listings here and to look at the species okay it looks like everybody got assimilated so next time we will be able to uh, do quick species modifications and make everybody good all according to the tree in the meantime though I have been sub you have been yourselves later <laughs>